Hello and welcome to the next video on the AST computer series. This is the motherboard from the AST computer. Uh, this is the same board that would have been in the AST Premium 25 uh, and some of the 486 series. Um, basically with the AST systems the idea was, as I said in the previous video, um, you were able to upgrade the computer to, you know, uh, 386 uh, 16 or a 386DX2 or you could then you know if you wanted to update updated these BIOS chips here you could then basically put in a 486 series. Now the update was done via software um, didn't have to actually flash these chips. These chips um, are flashable from software rather than from a UV light uh, which was common at the time. These are actually flashable via a floppy disk which is pretty good. Um, this motherboard, as I said, is a is a 386 from AST, and um, has the 16-bit slots, as I said before. 8-bit plus this bit makes 16. These slots here are unique to AST, as far as I'm aware. I, as I said before, I haven't seen them anywhere else. And um, the board itself uh, is quite a good board, and so far as it actually does contain a built-in uh, SVGA video card. The Graphics on this board are actually provided by a Paradise uh, video chip. Uh, this is the Paradise video chip, which I couldn't show you in the last video because I couldn't get to it. Uh, and also, of course, there's onboard RAM. The onboard RAM on this is only 256 kilobytes, which is very, very small. Um, and because of this limitation, if you're running the likes of Windows 3.1 or even Windows 95, which I've run on this particular board, um, be it I went very slowly, you can't actually use 256 colours, and um, you can only use uh, 16, but it is an SVGA, uh, at least that's something. Um, you can of course upgrade uh, the uh, uh, video card in this computer by changing these little dip switches here. Uh, dip switch number one will actually uh, allow you to enable or disable the onboard video. So just flick the dip one, and you'll have onboard video on, flip it back the other way, and the onboard video will be off, and it'll require then you to install a separate video card. Uh, there's a close-up there of the uh, Paradise chip. Paradise was later purchased by Western Digital, uh, and Western Digital then later on then sold off the company itself to another video card manufacturer. And this is an AT style computer, as you can see by the AT style connector. The AT style connector uh, power supply that the AT came with is a big chunk of a power supply, but uh, a standard AT power supply will link into this uh, system. Now, that's enough about the board. We went through it before, so we're not going to go through it in too much more detail. Uh, floppy drives, hard drives, uh, then you have the, uh, the the parallel ports and the serial ports. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's move along. This is the VGA feature connector on this board. Now, the, the, these particular connectors I'm showing you depend on the board. Not all boards are the same, not all boards are equal. That's why I'm showing you this board because it is kind of groovy. It's a good word to use, isn't it? Groovy, yeah. <laughs> because it's a daughter board, motherboard configuration. This board on its own won't do anything. It requires the daughter board, which I'll now take out for you. This is the daughter board for the AST computer uh, 386 16 MHz Premium. And it comes with 4 megs of RAM on this particular board. Uh, you can upgrade this to, uh, I think this one is 16 or 8, I think it is. Maybe maybe only 8 is the maximum on this one. Some of them differ. It's it sort of, I had some 16s that I managed to get to 16 megabytes. I had some that only ever managed to get to 8. Uh, but generally, I think 8 is the really maximum with the 16. Now, as I mentioned before in the previous video, one of the differences between the 25 megahertz and the 16 megahertz is the chip on this one is actually surface mounted. So that basically means that whatever chip is here, you're stuck with. You can't actually change. You can't, you know, put it in a faster 386. What you could do for a limited time, and it was an option, um, and I, I kind of regret buying one. I wish I did just for the novelty of it. Uh, is you could actually purchase a upgrade chip for this, a 486. That actually sat on top of this. Had moulding similar to the, the brown box here. So think about this taken off and, and, and sat on top of this. And I would upgrade this board into a 486 for you. Um, good idea, um, but um, they were very rare. I didn't see very many of them around. Um, I, I do wish I had a bought one though, so I could show it to you, but I don't have one. 
The brown slot, by the way, beside it is for your Mats coprocessor. So again, if you're running the likes of AutoCAD or you know that type of software on this computer, you would require uh, an upgrade chip to be installed here, a Mats coprocessor. Uh, so processor, Mats coprocessor. Uh, these chips down the bottom are system control chips from Intel. They actually control the board. Okay. And as you can see again, you got the, the, the proprietary slot from AST. This little slot here obviously comes along and plugs into one of these brown slots, like so. And that is a 32-bit slot. So with the front part, you've got the 16 bits of data, or 16-bit highway slash bus. And with the back piece, you've then got an extra 32 bits. Okay, which does make this 386 a 32-bit machine. Um, the little chips you're seeing here, by the way, are, are clock chips. Um, they're different frequencies for different things. Um, for example, I'll just show you here uh, on the board. Oh, wrong way around. On the board here, we have a number of clocks. Okay, these are actually uh, uh, crystal clocks. Depending on the speed of your actual video card, uh, these here will, will, will oscillate at a different frequency to allow your different screen rates and resolutions. For example, 50 hertz, 20 hertz, 60 hertz, and so on. More modern machines just have the one uh, crystal, or it's done, done via software. Again, the main chip on the motherboard, uh, as I mentioned to you before, that actually runs the whole clock is located. Hold on a second, if you can see the camera. This fella here, this is him. Without this little crystal here, the computers would not function. This crystal is a constant. So this crystal is known, is a known oscillator. So it's known how fast it oscillates. And because it's always the same when a current is passed through it, you can then dictate the speed of the full machine i.e. 16 megahertz or 16 gigahertz. Modern computers still have this. It's usually in a cylindrical shape. Um, I've showed you that before as well, but uh, just in case. The backup battery on this is a standard lithium battery. Um, it does plug into the board. It's not on the board anymore at the moment, but uh, it's just a standard lithium battery. Uh, that's it. Uh, we're going to move on now to the 486. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, of course, please leave a comment. And I'll do my best to answer them. And of course, the information is 99.9% .9 accurate. The rest of it isn't accurate. And uh, don't use this to teach somebody. This is probably totally wrong. So, enjoy it. Bye-bye. And I'll see you at the 486.